Greetings. My name is Brenda Vongova, founder of the UN Chamber Music Society. Thank you for joining us for today's concert in support of the UN's relief efforts to provide life-saving assistance in the face of the humanitarian catastrophe unfolding in the Middle East. I'd like to thank the UN Under Secretary General for Global Communications, Melissa Fleming, and the Commissioner General at the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, Philippe Lazzarini, for their opening statements and support to this concert. Music binds us together in these darkest moments. I'm pleased to deliver today's performance with a wonderful member of the UN Chamber Music Society, together with violinist Yaman Saadi, concert master at the Vienna Philharmonic and West Eastern Divan Orchestra, which was founded by Maestro Daniel Baraborn and the late literary scholar Edward Said to promote coexistence and intercultural dialogue, and violinist David Strongen from the West Eastern Divan Orchestra. We and the whole UN community stand in solidarity with the people in the Middle East in the wake of these recent tragic events. We hope that through our concert today, we will contribute to alleviating some of the suffering in the region. We encourage you to donate to the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East to deliver life-saving assistance, including food, medicine, water, hygiene kits, and other humanitarian aid to those affected by this massive tragedy. These resources will be used to provide critical aid and relief. I thank you. Dear friends and colleagues, we live in turbulent times. Conflicts, wars, humanitarian crises, and rising inequalities have been in unfolding in front of our eyes against the backdrop of the climate emergency. And now we face an unprecedented crisis in the Middle East. Too many lives and the fate of the entire region hanging in balance. The situation is becoming more dire by the hour, with casualties mounting and suffering prolonged. The UN Secretary General has condemned unequivocally the horrifying and unprecedented 7 October acts of terror and hostage taking by Hamas and Israel. He has also said that those appalling attacks cannot justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. UNRWA staff, together with other UN teams in the region, are working tirelessly around the clock to advocate for peace and provide assistance among the most challenging and dangerous conditions. But also among those killed over the past two weeks are dozens of UNRWA colleagues. I'm devastated by the loss and I honor them. As the fog of war threatens to cloud our hearts and minds, let us not forget that civilians and humanitarian aid workers must never become a target. This virtual concert, organized by the UN Chamber Music Society, is an important moment for us to take the time to reflect on this basic truth and the nightmarish events taking place in the Middle East. Thank you. Dear colleagues and friends, the past two weeks have been among the darkest in the history of UNRWA and the region, as the devastating loss of life and widespread destruction continue unabated. My UNRWA colleagues and I draw great strength from the solidarity shown by our UN family. The Harmony Unites concert by the United Nations Chamber Music Society is an example of that solidarity. It is heartening to see the UN community and our friends and supporters across the world come together to uphold our common values and humanity through music. I'm grateful to you for choosing to respond to despair and destruction with generosity and creativity. It reminds us of the extraordinary potential of every human life that has been so tragically lost. I would like to pay tri tribute here to my 35 colleagues who have been killed in the past weeks. Their deaths grieve us profoundly. I would like to thank you for supporting the tireless effort of UNRWA to protect and support Palestinian refugees 
and in time of grave crisis, all civilians. Your support will help us to reach more people in need and provide them with life-saving assistance. From the bottom of my heart, thank you.